My um, parkour has been following me for the last 30 years, and it's just me against the world. What I was doing, which was, it was like abstract style, it was more of a personal work. And that personal work, it worked good on a piece of paper or it worked good on a canvas of different formats because I was expressing my feelings rather than just the whole graffiti movement, you know? Or like I say something, the graffiti bandwagon. So even when I was painting trains, a lot of people, a lot of my peers, they were saying, oh, what's that shit that you're doing, you know? That's not graffiti. That's not um, what we think should graffiti look like, which is your name and things like that. The traditional graffiti sense. And they were right. I was expressing more of my feelings because I got interested into painting or into, into this whole movement for one reason. It was for freedom. The only freedom I felt was when I painted. And not only that, I felt power. I have a, a physical relationship with what I do also. And I think that physical relationship has to deal with, with my upbringing as an artist. I've always admired artists like Jackson Pollock, Robert Motherwell, Sam Francis, or or William D. Kooning, which are, to me, I call them power painters, people that plunge into their paintings, you know? They don't have this aspect of a distance between the brush and the, um, and the canvas. They, like, there's a physical aspect into, into moving the paint and to applying the paint. And that physical aspect is, um, is what I relate to when I paint, is the, it's that whole, you know, the force. And I hope I express myself in that way. When people see my work, they can see the, the power that's behind the brush. I've always seen what I do as a, a lifestyle. You know, it's been my lifestyle for many, many years. A lot of times people have not been able to understand but it's a lifestyle that I've lived, that I live, and you know, this is one of the things I do, which is um, basically every day I kind of, it's the same type of things. You know, I mess around with paint, I get dirty. If it functions today for me, or if it doesn't function, I'll still be painting. So that's what's scary for the people around me. You know, but for me, it's just the way I am, just what I do. I've been painting in such a whirlwind of, um, you know, show after show, uh, canvas after canvas, collector after collector, gallery after gallery. You know, and it's not just like for a short period, it's been for years I've been doing this, which is good, because it gets, gives me an opportunity to put a lot of things out there. So my evolution has been very, um, it's been like, it's like I'm at war and it's, um, you know, I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm on fire. 